students welcome to axiomatic course this video is the part of the solution series for iit jam 2017 so we are here with question number 6 of your paper so let us have a look on this question so you have an a double integral question and you have to find out the value for this double integral okay now let us see okay i should use white pen so just wait for a second okay so what integral do you have you have i is equal to 0 to 1 x to 1 sin of y square dy dx now the first thing to consider here is this given function okay so you have sin is y square okay so just think about this that have you ever done a integral like this sin x x square dx okay i'm writing in the single integral form because this is what you are familiar with so have you solved this type of integral no you cannot solve this integral okay you have never solved it so this question actually belongs to a particular type of problem okay and what uh, what we name them we name them as change of order of integration okay so since this sin y square is not we are not able to integrate this sin y square okay therefore we have to change the order for this integration you are getting my point what is the meaning for the or change of order the meaning is very simple that you have to firstly integrate not y you have to integrate x so this is the meaning of change of order you are getting my point so since you don't know the integration of uh, sin y square therefore you have to change its order now let us see how we change the order of the integration okay so so i have drawn your cartesian plane so let us say this is your uh, x axis and this is your y axis okay so now uh, i will tell you how to change the order of the integration so what is your limit in your first okay i am just trying to represent this area in a form of graph okay so what you have your limits you have y is equal to x and y is equal to 1 okay also you have x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 from where i am getting these things i am getting because this is dy here right so that means this limit okay this in this limit the limit on the integral first is of y therefore i am getting this thing so you have this area on which you are working so let me draw that so how you draw y is equal to x y is equal to x is like this okay this is y is equal to x now what is y is equal to 1 this is y is equal to 1 okay this is y is equal to x now what is x is equal to 1 this line okay this point is a common point between these three lines this is x is equal to 1 okay so what uh, you have to move from x to 1 okay you have to move from y is equal to x to y is equal to 1 i am trying to uh, see the area which area do we need so you have to move from y is equal to x to y is equal to 1 so this is y is equal to x now you have to move from here to y is equal to 1 and from for the x case what you have to do you have to move from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 so that means this is the reason that your question is talking about right so initially you are doing dy dx now you have to do dx dy that means you have to firstly check the limit of x now see in this case if you will draw a strip like this then what will happen x is varying from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 okay no no sorry not x is equal to 1 this x is equal to y you getting my point or not so x is varying from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to y 
and y is varying from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1. So therefore you can change now the order. So what is the limit for x? x is varying from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to y and y is varying from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1. That means you have to solve this integral now. Now this will be easy. Now let us see how. So now if you will try to integrate dx for this one, this sine y square will be constant. So there is one, uh, so integration of dx will be x. You are getting my point or not? So you will get like this, uh, 0 to y sine y square dy, right? Now this is very easy to integrate. Why? Because you are getting 0 to 1 y sine y square dy. Now how you will integrate this? You will con uh, consider this y square is equal to t and if you will take y square is equal to t then what you will get? You will get uh, this y which is written here. You are getting my point? So let us consider y square is equal to t then you will get 2y dy is equal to dt. So now from here what you are getting that y dy is dt by 2. So now let us see limits also. So at y is equal to 0, what is your t? This is your this is your substitution that you are using. So at y is equal to 0, your t is also 0. Therefore, 0 at y is equal to 1, your t is also 1. So limits will be same. So y, y dy will be replaced with dt and you will get sine of t. Uh, dt by 2. Okay. You have my point. So finally, you know the integration of sine. What is the integration of sine? It is cos of t. Right. Minus times of cos of t. So 0 to 1. So what you will get? You will get cos 0 minus cos 1 over 2. Okay. This 2 I have forgotten. So this is also there with the product on it. So you, you will get this. So cos 0 is 1. So finally what you are getting? 1 minus cos of 1 over 2. Okay. So this is your final answer. Okay. So let me use uh, black pen for this. So finally what you have done that this D option is your correct option and all other options are uh, incorrect. Right. So c is incorrect b is incorrect and a is also incorrect okay so thank you